In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to block porn for a specific set of users. So go to IP, DNS, and uncheck Allow Remote Request. Click Apply, OK. Then we're going to go to the DHCP server and identify first, you need to identify the user or users that you want to block porn for. So, so for the Windows 10 user, we would want to, al want to allow it for this user, but we're going to block it for the Windows 7 user. So all other users will have access, but for the for this user named Win7 PC, which is the IP with with the IP address 192.168.88.251. We are going to block it for this user only. So what I'm going to do is to go to firewall and go to NAT and we are going to create a new NAT and this NAT would be a, a destination NAT because what we are going to do is to redirect the DNS, all DNS traffic for that particular IP address to to, um, to a different DNS server. And we're going to use about the same one that I had used in, in, in the previous tutorial, the one from Norton, which is the ConnectSafe DNS. We're going to use about that. So next, you need to put in the address that you want to block so there are two way, two ways you can go about this you can block for block for a specific IP address or you can go to source address and block for a particular list of a um, address list so this address list would contain a number of addresses so you could easily do something like this 192.168.88.251 as a source address or what we what I, what I'm going to do I'm going to change up this a bit so let me just cancel this and I'm going to go to address list and I'm going to create a new address list um, and then Call this list block porn and we're going to put in the address 192.168.88.251 so that's the address so what we could do I could put in like a dash and put a range of our addresses to be blocked or I could create multiple address list with the same name but different IP address so it's easier to manage when you're doing it from a, using an address list uh, because the, the thing that you, you only need to change address list if you need to add or remove a user next we're going to go back to NAT well, one other thing to point out is because this user is a um, is getting a dynamic IP address from the DHCP server the chances are this IP address might change so I would suggest that any user that you are blocking for you're going to block make sure it is static so that the IP address doesn't change unless you're blocking a, a wide range of addresses so we're going to go back now and create a new NAT rule and uh, we're going to create a destination NAT and the protocol is going to be UDP and the destination port will be 53 which is the the port that DNS uses then go to advance and the source address list would be this address list that we just created 
and that contains all the user the user or users that we want to to block click action and then we're going to select destination destination not and then the to address we're going to use the Norton connect safe IP address or the DNS and we're going to use the DNS port which is port 53 so this is the IP address for the Norton connect safe DNS and this is a port that it DNS runs on and we can put a comment on this and call it um, block porn okay apply so how this works is that all the traffic for this particular user all the DNS queries will be forwarded to to this rule and that rule would 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 be query against Norton ConnectSafe database. So I'm going to do a test now and see if it works. So this is this machine that I'm connected to is 252, which is which is this machine. But the one that you are blocking is 251, and that is. A different this is the machine that we're blocking all right so let me go back to the other machine so this one it is not blocked on this one so if I open a site the site should load and the site loads So I'm going to go to the other PC now and do the same search. I'm just going to open a link and I'm getting the certificate error or the certificate warning. If I press continue, then it will then Norton Connect Safe would come up to show that the site is blocked so for this user which is 251 it is blocked but for any other user it's not blocked so that is how you would block access to porn site for a specific user if you wanted to block other users you would add them to the address list or even create more address lists with the same name but different addresses and it will block uh, those users also. So that is how you go about blocking porn sites for a specific user or users. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. So thanks for watching.